private jailbreak news update. So let's go ahead and get into this here. So unless you've been living under a rock over the past few days, you should probably know by now that we have a new jailbreak for the PS4, allowing us to jailbreak up to 12.52, which also includes 12.50. So two new firmwares for the PS4 that are now jailbreakable that previously weren't. And this is thanks to the Flow's new exploit, the net control exploit, which is dubbed the poop exploit, uh, which is the main jailbreak now for the PS4 up to 12.52. And this was implemented by the developer 15432. So this particular version is known as the hen loader and it's hen loader LP, which means laps and the poop exploit exploit are included here. So two exploits included in the disc. So the jailbreak works the same as the previous one where it's loaded via a Blu-ray disc, which means you can have both exploits included on the one disc. So the way it works is that if you're on 12.50 or 12.52, then the only option you'll have when you load the exploit is press X to load the poop exploit. And when you press X, it will run the jailbreak and run the new version of Gold 10 from the disc, which is version 2.4 B18.7. So that will be loaded. Now, this jailbreak is quite unstable compared to the previous jailbreak, the lapsed jailbreak. So if you're on a firmware below 12.50 and you run the disk, it will give you two options. It will give you the option to run the new kernel exploit, and it will also give you the old one, the lapse exploit, as another option. And that will actually be the default option if you're on a firmware below 12.50. And then you'll just press X and it will load that previous exploit, which is more reliable. That's why I don't recommend updating to 12.50 or 12.52 if you're on a previous firmware. If you're on 12.02 or lower, just stick with that firmware because you can still set up the jailbreak in the same way. You can still use this new hen loader uh, ISO that you can burn to your Blu-ray disc and you'll be able to load both exploits from the one disc, including the older version, which is more stable. Definitely better to just set this up on your current firmware rather than updating to 12.50 or 12.52 where you'll be limited to only using the more unstable exploit. So that is why I don't really recommend updating your firmware for this particular jailbreak. Now beyond that we did have a couple of updates. There was this forked version from uh, Lucas Leal Dev. This version it just tweaks the exploit ever so slightly so that it does not require you to press a button on the controller. Once you load the Blu-ray disc it will just run it automatically. So that's one option if you prefer to use that. Also, I've created an all-in-one version, which is this version, which auto-loads the, the exploit when the disk is loaded. But I've also included, of course, the main utility homebrew applications on the disk that can be installed directly from the disk after you've got the jailbreak running from the package installer in the gold hen settings. And then also it has the cheats, patches and plugins included on the disk as well, which can be copied off the disk via PS4 Explorer or via the Easy Remote Client, which you can then use to copy that over to the data folder and then use the PS4 Cheats Manager to install the cheats patches and plugins that you copied from the disk. So the latest Gold Hen build that's included with the Hen Loader is a new version 2.4 B18.7. Previous version was B18.6, but this version does not really add any new features. The main purpose of this is just to add support for 12.50 and 12.52 as well as support for test kit consoles on the same firmwares, 12.50 and 12.52. That is what this update includes. But Sistro has left a note saying that they are working on features. But this particular release, again, is just focused on supporting the new firmwares and test kits as well as retail consoles. Now, if you cannot burn your own Blu-ray disc, there's already sellers on AliExpress selling their own pre-made discs that you can buy. Uh, they are pretty damn cheap, so you can just get one of those discs that already has the exploit written to it. And I'm not sure exactly which version they're using at the moment. They might be using the all-in-one version that includes everything you need on the one disc, or they might just be using the regular version. But usually those discs are a pretty safe bet to be able to get the exploit set up if you don't have a working Blu-ray drive in your computer that you can use to burn your own discs. We also got a new release of PS4 Explorer version 2.0.6 from Lappy. If you're using the previous version, make sure you update to version 2.0.6 because this version now has full support for 12.50 and 12.52. Previous versions were not working on that firmware. You would only be able to access the sandbox location of the file system, you did not have full file system access. It would say 12.52 is unsupported. But if you update to this latest version, you can see we now have full support for 12.52 and I can access the root directory and it is fully functional. So 
Uh, if you're using a previous version, you can just update it from the homebrew store. Next, we have some updates to the Netflix and Hack project. Firstly, for the PS5, this has been improved. Now, the previous version did have some issues with the auto loader, which automatically loads the elf loader once everything is loaded. So the idea is you run Netflix and then it automatically runs the lapse kernel exploit. And then once that's completed, it automatically loads the elf loader. And then you just need to send your payload to load the jailbreak. Now, the difference here is that those previous versions would often crash the Netflix application after it had loaded the elf loader, which would often be fine because the elf loader would still be running in the background. But sometimes it might crash too early and then the elf loader would not be loaded. So that issue appears to have been resolved. There's been some stability improvements. So the Netflix application should auto close instead of just crashing. And that makes it more reliable, less likely that you're going to have issues with the elf loader not running when you load the exploit from Netflix. So the public proxy server does have those changes included. So you can just use that public address in your proxy settings and then load the correct version of Netflix to have those changes applied. So that's been implemented there for the PS5 version. There's also now a PS4 version of the Netflix and Hack project that has been implemented. So this particular version is just the userland exploit at the moment, although LAPS is being implemented, but it, I don't believe it's fully working yet. However, this doesn't have as much utility as the PS5 version. It's more akin to something like the Mastercore exploit on the PS4. Now, the reason for that is that you require a license file in order to get Netflix working on the PS4, which is a bit strange that uh, the PS5 doesn't actually require that. Seems like a bit of an oversight, really. But with the PS5, you can just install the retail version of the Netflix application. And as long as your firmware is compatible with that version of the app, you will be able to launch it as long as you have an activated account and you'll be able to launch the application. It does not require a license whereas on the ps4 it's actually stricter where these media applications require a license file just like any game that you would buy off the store even though it's free you still have to you know purchase it on the store as a like a free purchase so that you get the license file linked to your account which then allows you to launch the netflix application so without that license file you will not be able to launch the retail version of the netflix application to be able to actually use this to jailbreak your console. So being on an older firmware, if you don't already have the license for your console, you're not going to be able to access the PlayStation Store to be able to purchase the Netflix application to get the license to be able to launch it. Now, you may see a lot of people, you know, using it and testing it on the PS4, but that's mostly people who already have previous jailbreaks who can just install a fake package version of the Netflix application, which of course you can launch with a jailbroken PS4 and that will give you access to the user land exploits. But there's not much utility there if to launch the Netflix application, you already need to have your console jailbroken, kind of defeats the purpose. So that is the issue with, you know, these media applications on the PS4 versus the PS5, unfortunately. But uh, technically, you could say this is still better than the Mastercore exploit because the Mastercore exploit requires a game that is not